Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another PGA Tour 2K21 course guide. I know this is coming out a little late, my apologies for that. I have actually been sick the past three days and haven't really been able to get up out of bed to even record any videos. But I wanted to at least get this out here. It's a little bit of a scuffed video for Brandomir Golf Club as I haven't really played and tested it as much as I normally do with these course guides. But I just wanted to get this video out here just so you can kind of see a playthrough, I guess, of of Bandamere and kind of get you ready just in case you don't have the chance to go out there and practice. Also, this week, the Platinum Tour of the TGC Tours is at a course that shall not be named. It is a course that I've been asked not to stream or show off on YouTube as it is a little bit sensitive. So, unfortunately, this week I am unable to upload or stream my rounds on the TGC Tours. I'll still be playing it, so keep a lookout on Twitter or Discord on how I do in the tournament, but cannot play it this week on stream or upload it here on YouTube. So I just want to let you know about that. But let's uh, jump into Bandamere. I'm running the round one conditions, uh, low wind speed, wind directions of the southwest, and everything else is on default for round one. So let's head out into the course and start our little bit of a playthrough course guide. I do have some tips for this uh, course that I'll be going over while we play it. But I will say distance is king is back for this course. Let's go out and show why. All right, here we are, hole number one. Wind is low. Uh, four mile an hour wind, a little bit tough to make it over. So with the four mile an hour wind, I mean, I guess we could still try. It's gonna be a little bit closer though. Let's just say that, let's see though. Just so I can kind of show you guys with the big boy driver, if you can make it over this or not. All right, you can with the four mile an hour wind. Never mind. We're back on track. A lot of the rounds I've played with the low wind, it's usually like one, two miles an hour. Four mile an hour, we can still get it in there nicely, though, if you want to get yourself within a pitching range like I am now. You can go for it. I started off with a nice shot. Wind's making this carry a little bit more, I'd like. But, that's alright. <laughs> says it's straight. What are the chances that it actually is? Not the best. I pushed it a little bit though, too. Alright, we'll start off with a par. Honestly, this one can get this one that first hole can get you if you don't hit a good tee shot. I highly suggest if you are scared, don't even use that three wood if you're using the long three wood. Just three iron it in, four iron it in, five wood, whatever you're using. Just get yourself, you know, in a nice mid iron to go for it. All right, this second hole. You do have to, if you want to use, like, if you're aiming like me, 142. You have to you have to land this thing almost right at the marker. Because with it being almost exclusively uphill from the hole, you have to land it right in this this region right here to have a shot at the hole. Uh if you go too long, the putt does become a little bit of a nightmare just because it, it gets kind of extremely downhill and on the medium fast greens you'll actually stick a lot more and won't roll down those hills, so you have to be careful. And we slowed it, so this putt's going to be massively uphill. Massively uphill. Uh, the greens roll pretty good, though. Um, they roll pretty true. There's... You don't, you don't get yourself into a situation where you're going to have a putt that's, you know, real crazy. Whew, 
Almost made it. Another par. Another par. All right, here is a first par four where uh, you can go for it. Now, to get this one even close is quite difficult. So the way this fairway works out, this all slopes out here to the right. So what you have to do if you want to go for it and get this close, because if you land it here, it's going to run right off the green. It always happens. To get this one close, you actually have to draw it in and you have to land it in this area. Because right here, it doesn't slope as much. It actually slightly slopes out to the left just a tad. So if you can land it right in this area right here. With a draw. You have to draw it if you want to go for this. Um, it actually rolls up fairly nicely. The only problem is... Going for this. And... Uh, yeah, just going for this. Because it, uh, it is a difficult shot. Uh, to say the least and if you mess it up even in the slightest you could really put yourself in a bad 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 situation Because not only do you have to draw this you have to partial this as well Because it's 58 feet down And that's a bad shot Oh, you'll get to see what happens here Oh my gosh, we almost hold it. This always happens. You'll just roll it all out and you'll end up here uh, down in the uh, light rough. Which is still fine because you still have a good shot at a... At a birdie. That was a bad shot. Oh, let's just chip it in real quick, shall we? Nice little eagle. <laughs> nice little eagle. Good thing it actually hit the pin, because if it didn't, that might have went. Uh, that might have went a little, a little ways. All right, with this hole, just avoid a fast. Just avoid a fast. I mean, you can you can still go for getting it a little close, which I am going to as well. But just try to avoid a fast, because if you hit a fast here, um, yeah, not good. Ooh, give us a hole in one on this. Give us a hole in one. Oh my gosh, it just jumped over the hole. Wow, that actually carried a lot further than I thought it was going to with that wind. Ah, oh, and here we are. All right. <laughs> let's, let's try to bury a 55 footer that's three feet up the hill. We actually almost did. Okay. Another par. You do not want to get yourself into a situation I just got myself into. Uh, definitely aim for short, if anything. Try not to go long. All right, first par five. This is where distance, again, becomes king. You really have to not do that. Now you have to get this. You have to get this out pretty far. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to make it because I just hit it into the heavy rough. You have to get this out pretty far because even with the the long the long boy the long three wood, uh, you really can't make it there. You have to get it into a into a spot where um, hitting driver, even if it is just a partial driver, hitting driver gets you up there to run it down that hill. And I'll show you which hill I'm referring to. This one right here. So what you have to do is you kind of have to hit driver into this, kind of land it up here on top side, and have it run down towards the hill. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest trying to go for this little strip. 
Uh, I've done it a couple of times, and while it could potentially get you into position to get closer, try to run it down this hill to try to get it to stop. If it doesn't stop, it's all right, because it ends up down here, and you have a nice little easy chip up for a chance at an eagle. So just try to get it up on the second level and run it down this hill. If you get stopped up here on the second level, more than likely your eagle putt will have to hit pin in order to stop. It won't stop if you don't. So try to get it to run down. If you want to play it safe, you can. With a three wood, you'll end up quite short unless you get an absolute masterful drive. And if the wind's in your favor, I mean, of course, that's going to help as well. Here, though, in the first round, wind is not in your favor. But an eagle can be had here. I've almost albatrossed it once as well. All right, for this hole, uh, you, you can do a couple of things here. You can play it off to the left and try to run it back in. If you want to go at the hole, though... Um, at least for me, what I have to do is I actually have to fade it in, uh, because of the way the wind is and the way that my three iron is set up and the way that the green slopes out, uh, I have to get a nice little fade in to even attack this hole at all. Too much. Too much. That's okay. Uh, the easiest way to deal with this hole is just to aim for the middle of the green and just hit it to the middle of the green. Uh, so that way you don't have to deal with this kind of shot for your second shot and this kind of putt for your par. Uh, if you just aim it to the middle of the green, you'll have a shot at a birdie. It's going to be a tough putt, but you'll at least have a shot at a birdie. This hole's pretty straightforward. Grip it and rip it. Okay, why do we keep getting these very fast, huh? Get out of this. Thank you. Uh, this hole is extremely straightforward. You just got to... You got to get it in. Uh, I always play it up to the left and run it. If you get too far up on the left, you run out way too far. Uh, but I always at least try to hit halfway up on this hill and try to run it back towards the hole. Oh, and don't do what I just did. This shot is not easy out of the rough. You gotta splash it. Okay, that'll work. That'll work for another par. This course is, man, it's really hit or miss for whether it scores. Sometimes I score on it and sometimes I don't. It just, it's not a challenging course per se. It just kind of sneaks up on you on some of these putts. Uh, here on this next par five, uh, no matter what you do, you can't make it. I I've tried, I've tried everything to try to make it up here. Um, definitely don't straight ball it, but uh, no matter where you put this into the fairway. You can't make it up there on your second shot. You always come up short. So just try to get it into the fairway. Don't even worry. Don't even worry about, you know, your second shot. Your second shot's going to end up anywhere from here to, like, front side of that bunker. Uh, even using a driver off the deck. You're going to have just a shot like this coming up. Whether it be... Uh, normally if I hit the green, it's like pitch shot, pitch shot range, uh, like 73 yards.
But just get up here, try to get it close, try to get your birdie, move on to the next. It's not a particularly hard hole to birdie. I really pulled that. Oh, we got a birdie. On to the next. All right, our next par four. Again, pretty straightforward. Just get it up on this hill. You'll get yourself into a pitch range. Pitch to, uh, you know, wedge, short wedge. Took a really bad bounce there. Yeah, we're bringing in a gap into this. Uh, you have a little bit of a backstop, so you can play it up on the hill and try to roll it back if you'd like. Putting too much spin on it, though, if you land it here, you'll spin it out because this is all downhill pretty well. You'll spin it out to, like, 10 feet. So what I've actually been doing is I've been taking spin off of this shot to try and make it so that I don't run back down this hill like so. We want to get it up there and actually get it to stop so that we have a nice little uphill putt here. Because, I mean, uphill putts are always better than anything, any other putt. All right, another instance of grip it and rip it. You're going to have a nice long shot coming into this par four. Wow, slowed it. Okay, well, made this a little bit more interesting. The way this green works out, it's best to get in the fairway and slightly draw it in. Because this green all slopes out to the right. I don't know how many times I've landed it here and just ran it out. Not off the green, but... Uh, this makes things a little bit more interesting. Damn. I was worried about that. Well, we'll at least try to save par here. Not ideal. I actually didn't want to fast that. Still saved it though. Boy, that was actually really close. All right, so on this one, even with the big boy, if you land, try to go for the fairway like here. Yeah, I guess I can show it on this. If you try to go to go for the fairway here, more than likely you'll end in the rough. You have to aim kind of like right over this edge. So right in this needs to be your your landing zone for this. Uh, don't try to cut the corner too much, because if you try to cut the corner too much, you end up in the rough, which you are not wanting to do, because you can go for this green here. So land it right up in here. We're in the light stuff, but that's all right. We can still go for this, uh, except we don't have the greatest lies. Uh, normally, you'll be able to take driver off the deck and you'll be able to hit in here and run this ball all the way up towards the hole. Uh, unfortunately, we went slightly into the rough and damn, that sucks. Oh my god, my finger slipped off the controller. Why does this happen? Huh? Why does this happen? All right, well, I haven't gotten myself into a nice situation here. This is tough. Eh. 
actually came out fairly clean. All right, let's try to make birdie with a chip. Slowed it and put, why do I keep pushing it? It's really weird. I don't normally do that. All right, part is, well, the idea on that hole, you get into the fairway, you take driver off the deck and you run it up towards the hole for your chance at an eagle. Uh, I just did not execute that plan at all. Uh, this hole, try to get past this dip down as far as you can. You're going to have to use it slightly to catapult yourself, but try to get past it uh, as much as you can. I always, I always add as much spin as I can just because if you do hit that pretty solid, uh, that'll help kind of bring it back down to earth. So it doesn't run too far. You want to try to get past that. Land it just right. This will be good. Yeah, that'll be really good. A little bit more left, it would have been even better. But you just got to get just, just past that hill. Is where your landing point should be. Got another birdie on the board. You can hit that hill solid and it won't be a problem. It just, it runs a lot. So it doesn't leave you in a favorable situation. Uh, here's another situation of uh, grip it and rip it. Slopes out, but you'll be fine. And an easy pitch shot coming in. Well, you have to hit a good pitch shot. Wow, you really flew. That's okay. A little bit of a bummer. I knew it was a downhill lie, so I knew it was going to fly a little bit, but that was actually quite a bit. Still got a birdie, though. I guess I should have clubbed down there. Clubbed down my pitch shot. I just didn't think it was going to fly that much. All righty, now is the next fun par four. Uh, again, with this par four, gotta draw it in. You have to hit this hill fairly solid to cut off some of the roll off that it gets. So I always loft it up a little bit. We draw it in. And we try to hit almost right at our mark. Uh, but just a little short in the rough to kind of dampen the blow since they're soft fairways Let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can get this This is a this is a tough shot if you want to get it close here on your first A little too short It might stop on the top of this hill come on don't roll no, a little too short. A little too short. It got kicked off to the right a little too much. But we do still have a shot at an eagle here. Um, so I lofted that up a little bit too much. Or faded it a little too much. We took a little, a little too much distance off. I needed an extra about four yards there that we didn't get. But it is possible to hold that hill. Almost get a hole in one, too. Just the way that it slopes, it's, uh... It is very much possible to get a hole in one on this hole. Oh! 
I pulled it a little bit. That was our eagle. Eight under, got a pretty good round. Pretty good round going right now. Oh, okay, this hole. So, you can play this two ways. You can uh, aim it up somewhere, well, just a little past this. You can aim it up somewhere in here, and watch it roll down. If you slow it, that's okay. You'll end up hitting up here somewhere, and it actually rolls all the way back down to the hole. I've, I've actually landed it up here and almost got a hole in one. Uh, what you don't want to do, don't want to go left. Try to keep this right as much as you can. But again, don't be afraid to slow it. Because if you do, again, it'll come back to the hole. This is a good shot. Ah, oh, a little too far to the left. Still a very, very, very good golf shot there, though. I landed it off my mark just a tad. I keep that a little bit more right. And that is a, yeah, that is a hole in one. All right, this hole, don't be a hero. Just shoot the shot up here. You'll be fine. Uh, you can't make it. Don't even look at it. Don't try to skip it across the, I don't know, the the bridge or something. You, you can't make it. Just shoot a, shoot, shoot a three wood up here, five wood, whatever you have. Just get it as close as you can for your second shot. Again, you're working with a backstop. Um, so if you need to, use that backstop. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Get in there. All right. Wow, that is a stretch right there. Holy cow. Jesus. All right, another long par three. You want to land, your landing zone is right in here. Again, all uphill. If you go to the left, that's fine. Again, because it slopes out. You just want to avoid right. Because if you go right, you end up down here, which is a very bad putt. So try to avoid that. To the best of your ability. We're gonna miss our landing zone a little right. But we stayed up on the hill. Eh, broke out too much in my feet. That's all right. We get our par. This is a this is actually a tough hole to birdie. So, just because of the distance, which for me is in between clubs. All right, it ends on a par five that you can make into. So, grip and rip. Try to try to stay as far left as you're comfortable with. It just makes your approach shot a lot easier if you can stay here at the left side of the fairway. All right, big uphill. Your landing zone is you got to try to hit it on to this hill. Too short, it hits, sticks, rolls back. Too long... It hits this and rolls. I've had a putt from over here. Uh, sometimes it rolls off completely, though. So you have to you have to aim for this region right here. 
If you go off into the rough, that's actually not too bad. Uh, I'm a little bit long here. It's going to take some off, but we're still going to try to pop this up a little bit. Jesus. What a terrible shot. Get off the green. Thank you. Oh my god, I was a little worried there. It wasn't going to for a second. Alright, well, that sucks. Don't get to show you how that plays out. Because I hit an awful shot. Let's see if we can at least end it on a birdie here. That would be nice. Front side. Damn, ending it on a par on this par five. That's tough. That is tough. That's not one you want to par. It gives you a good shot to not par it, so. That's kind of a bummer. But that's all right, we still had a hell of a round, 10 under, which is phenomenal. Uh, and look, we shot a 10 under, only hit 58% in regulation, which kind of goes to show that this course, even if you go off into the deep cabbage, you can recover from it. So there it is. That's Bandemir. A uh, really great course. I actually really enjoy playing this course. I've played rounds uh, one, two. Uh, I haven't played round three pins, but round two pins are a little bit more of the same. You know, very scorable unless you get yourself into situations, kind of like... How I got myself into some situations there. We could have easily dropped some bogeys uh, on a couple of those holes. Uh, but very scorable, very enjoyable, very fun. Interested to see what uh, conditions altogether uh, CC gets and how those scores play out because of those conditions. Uh, but round one, go forth and conquer. Very scorable round one. Uh, and that's all she wrote. Thank you for stopping by today, watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video or think about subscribing to the channel. We also stream live over at twitch.tv slash respawn TV Sunday, Wednesdays, and Fridays starting at 4 p.m. Eastern. If you're interested in catching the live side of things, you can find me over there. Hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, though, wherever you are in the world. And good luck on your rounds this week. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Deuces.